um, so today we are going to do a reading of um, what your higher self wants you to know. So I have four piles set out for you. So I have put a crystal on top of each one because I just find sometimes it helps draw your attention to where it needs to be. Um, when picking a pile, it tends to be where you're drawn to first. Um, and I try and kind of like feel if I'm feeling like a gut sort of pull to a card or if I'm feeling like a sort of pressure or pulse on my third eye as I'm um, looking at the cards. And let's just dive in. So this is pile one. Pile two, pile three, and pile four. So if you just want to take a moment and pick the pile that resonates with you. I will put as normal down below the timestamps for each pile for you, so you don't have to try and figure it out yourself. Uh, so pile one, you have picked the Malachi crystal, which is a very good healing crystal for you guys. And let's have a look at what we have here. So we have let go of anxiety for you guys. So your higher self wants you to know that your anxiety has been kind of controlling you a little bit and um, affecting your life more than it needs to be affected. So let's just get a bit more information on here. So with the purple as well in this card, I just feel like you guys need to just relax. It's the lavender, it's definitely that need to um, relax and find things that are calming, meditative, um, to just help you bring those anxieties down. Because it feels like they are very much controlling things at the moment with you. Um, it's kind of stopping some of you from living your life a little bit more. And it does come back to this sort of the Malachite with the healing that is needed for you at this time. Um, so the next card is the Badger Spirit. This is be fearless and bold. Don't let the anxiety stop you from living your life. Don't let them hold you back anymore. It is time to be free. It's time to be a free spirit. It is time to really love yourself and let yourself be free. You need to be bold as well. It's this authentic side that keeps coming up at the minute, which is about um, that need to be yourself. You're holding yourself back. People aren't seeing the real you at the moment and you need to let them um, you need to let people in and build that sort of foundation that is yourself. Um, it's looking within, going within, finding yourself. Um, I'm really also drawn to the flowers in this of the calendula flowers, I believe, which to me is about your sort of your sacral, your emotions, and bringing those into balance. It's also to do with some of you, because um, this is a general read, some of you may be having some issues hormonally as well, and it's affecting your sort of emotional balance, which then is affecting the anxiety. So it feels like there's a little bit of a uh, vicious cycle going on with some of you. You also have the giraffe spirit as well, which is see the big picture. So it's almost like with the anxiety, you are uh, becoming so worried about everything that you are, um, you're only seeing like the smaller aspects of things. You're not seeing the bigger picture. It, you get so confined and trapped within uh, needing to do this, having to think about that and that and that and what happens if this happens and what happens if that happens, that you're not having that freedom that you need. You know, you need to be this fearless, you need to bring that fear, fearless warrior that is within you back out. It's things in the past that have caused the anxiety at the moment. Um, so it is that need to see the bigger picture. Um, uh, big picture and this is a rebirth that will come from that which is just such lovely sort of um energy that is ready for you but you need to kind of your higher self is saying it's time to uh, oh wonderful this one the act as if this is just so perfect for you guys act as if you are fearless. Act as if you don't have anxiety. You've got to just go with it. Um, stop worrying. This worry is taking over so much of your life. Um, I also uh, feel like so that there is this transformation and rebirth that is, is waiting for you. But at the minute, it is all to do with the anxiety and the healing that is needed. It also feels like it's very much past things that have caused this healing, uh, caused this anxiety. Um, so when I said about the warrior that is in you, 
and um, you have the warrior card guys so really bring that warrior spirit forwards connected with the badger here and that fearlessness and really fighting for what you want as well I feel like some of you are wanting things but the anxiety and the fear is, uh, is stopping you so now it's time to really dig deep for that warrior in you and bring that out and bring it forwards. Also a need to protect yourself because I do feel with some of you, anxiety is coming from outside sources. So some, um, it's very much all your own sort of brewing in a way, that sort of mental um, challenge that is uh, got about 10 scenarios going in the head. Whereas some of you, it's an outside source that's putting you down and telling you you can't do things, which is then causing the anxiety. So have that sort of protection around you and kind of be aware of who it is that is making you feel that way and either um, speak up and tell them how they're making you feel or if you're able to, come away from those people. Come away from the people that are putting you down and almost like uh, feel like some of you, you're being trodden on. Um, I don't know if that's the right, right sort of thing, but um, there is this need to listen to your inner voice. It, for you guys, it's very much intuition. You've got all the purples. It is all this sort of um, opening up that is needed, that belief that you can do things. Also solitude. So the whispers in the solitude here is saying that you need time to figure out what it is that you want, how you want to approach things, and then go for it. Um, so you need that time at the moment, time to figure out things, time to figure out what's going on, um, and what what people, and not listening to what people are telling you you can and can't do, because I do feel like that is really affecting you at the moment. Um, uh, maybe some exercise, um, or some meditation could be really beneficial for you guys. Oh. Right. So there is the Five of Pentacles um, here, and let me just have a little look what it is that I am feeling. Okay, so for you, I have the Five of Pentacles here, and this feels like that feeling of feeling trapped. You are feeling trapped at the moment um, and it's almost like, it, I do feel like some of you, it really is coming from outside sources where you are not, somebody is putting you down or you're not feeling like you can really be yourself. So now is this time to be that warrior, bring that in for yourself. I also see here with the Page of Swords that there is new beginnings, that there is new, um, a want to learn. So some of you may be thinking of starting a course or going to university or college or uh, starting a new business. There's these ideas, there's lots of ideas in your mind, but the anxiety has really been um, stopping you from doing anything. So your higher self is trying to come through now and tell you that it is time to try and step past these boundaries that you've set for yourself um, mentally a lot. Mostly it is mentally for you guys at the moment. Um, and then we have the four of wands to say that there is this sort of celebration. So with the page of swords and the four of wands, it really does feel like you need, there is this learning and starting something brand new. There's something brand new that is wanting to come forward or that you may have just started there's a learning that will come with it um, whether it is like doing a course and learning like that or if there is that sort of practical learning where you are uh, within the thick of it and learning as you go and um, the four of ones is about this sort of building this great foundation for yourselves as well so there is this your higher self is here to say that and you've also got the star card here as well so your higher self is saying all your wishes uh, they hear you that they're, they're waiting to bring all this through for you and you have the ability to do it all everything that you're wanting to do you can do but the anxiety is what is holding you back the most so your higher self really wants you to know this understand this and then make steps to come out of your shell to become the stronger part of you and they really do keep saying about act as if be the chameleon pretend you know to start with you've got to fake it till you make it is what they're saying so you fake it till you make it just to start with i do want to say though to just have a bit of caution that you don't always fake it um 
in the way that it becomes a second persona. So you put on a mask, that's not what they're saying. There is a difference is what I feel. And your higher self is wanting you to, to know that, but there is this sort of um, blossoming that will come along the way of pretending to yourself more than anything that you can do it because of you have such a mental capacity telling you you can't do it that when you go to do something you need to be switching that mindset to I am going to do it, I can do it, I've been doing it it's it's just the way that you talk to yourself um, and how others talk to you as well so make sure you find your voice in the way that others are talking to you and tell them they don't appreciate it um, so that's all I have for you, group number one, and I hope that resonates. If it does, please let me know in the comments below because it really does make my day. Group number two, so you picked the garnet crystal. So this is a lot of, a lot, a lot of heart healing. <laughs> this is a lot of heart healing that is needed for you at this time. So let's have a look what your card is. Take time for yourself. So, and it's the tulip as well. So the way that the pinks are in this card, very much about self-care and self love which resonates with the garnet perfect so let's get started and dive in a bit deeper so group number two this is a message from your higher self what your higher self wants you to know so enjoy relaxation activities that nurture your soul you need to find some things that are very um calming and uh <laughs> this kind of came out in the last group so that just makes me laugh um the chameleon this is about acting as if so acting as if you um or oh, i just want to add another sort of uh, clarifier here this is crazy yeah you guys have seen me shuffling the deck right so the chameleon and the bat spirit were both in the last reading so it's so funny how the sort of same messages come through because it's kind of like a theme all the time I find that the energies are bringing stuff up. So for you guys it is this um, acting that, um, oh god oh, I can't find my words today. Okay so for you guys you have the chameleon, the bat spirit and the snake spirit. You also have take time for yourself. So we know that you guys need to stop, you need to rest. The snake is saying you need time to heal. Um, you are people that are very on the go, it feels like, as well. Um, but my heart chakra is really hurting at the minute. So it really does resonate with the garnet that we had as well. And you guys holding stuff in. You are, to me, you guys are feeling like um, emotionally, you uh, are quite hectic. And um, there's a lot of pushing of, um, feelings uh, you're just pushing feelings downwards instead of dealing with them uh, or this also could be for some of you that it's things from the past that are coming up and uh, you need to be dealing with those um, we also have the rebirth the bat spirit is rebirth is assured so it is about this sort of um, uh, this time to have a rest and have this rebirth moment because of it's too full on for you guys. You need to have, you need to take a step back. I'm sure there was, I thought there was another card that came out. Obviously not. So you guys need to take a step back more. Um, so I've also got here then the, uh, we also have as well here the dove spirit. So the dove is telling you that it is this peace that you're needing. Everything is too hectic. I just feel like it's so crazy. I feel like there is also uh, craziness in work, there's the craziness mentally within you as well. So, it, and like, possibly for some of you as well, this craziness like with family as well, where it's just like you're always on the go, you're always doing something, you're not having the time that you need for yourself. So we've got foundations, you're needing again to take a step back, slow down and lay solid foundations we have here. And this foundation is for your health. It does feel like you are needing to really listen to your body at this time. So your higher self is really bringing through this for you because you're not listening. You're not listening to your body, you're not listening to the things that are coming up within you, these sort of emotions, and you need to. You've also got the full moon which is about releasing things. So you're releasing things from 
old past things that have been maybe brewing lately, uh, maybe you've been playing on your mind a little bit. It could also be past things from childhood that have been stuck within you and it's about letting them come up and then releasing them. I do feel like that some of you may need a good cry as well and don't be ashamed to have a good cry. Um, and I also get to remind you as well here that life is not a race. So with the foundations card here, there is a healing that's needed, there is sanctuary that is needed, you know, that sort of take yourself away from everybody. You've also got the attraction card here. Um, and this is saying, luck is on your side. You know, don't worry. I feel like there's a worry with you guys as well and almost like a panic. And that's why I'm feeling like a here and there and there and here and there and I've got to do this and I've got to do that and then I've got to do this. There's a panic of, have I done everything? I need to get everything done. Have I got everything done? And there's this constant mental battle with you guys. It's almost like there's, there is this element of anxiety that is there with you. Um, and oh, there's a balance that is needed. So they're bringing through this, your higher self is almost screaming at you with all these cards to say, will you just slow down? Take a breather, take a break. You're allowed to. There is very much this uh, feeling that you feel like you, you shouldn't be. You feel guilty, there's guilt to that. There is guilt for taking time for yourself. You can't feel guilty for looking after yourself. Um, You've got, so some of you are going to be like, ah, right, you've got the death card. The death card is nothing to worry about. It's one of my favourite cards in the deck because, again, if you can see on that, it does say rebirth. So it is this time to have, um, oh, there is this time for rebirth. There is a transformation that is happening here. You have luck on your side as well. There is a need to take this time to heal. There is a healing, very emotional healing that is needed. Um, and I also feel with this death card that it is a long time coming. It is letting go of a part of yourself that is no longer needed. It doesn't serve you anymore. It hasn't served you for a long time. And it's about moving on. So some of you may be moving on relationship wise. Um, house, I feel some of you may be moving. Um, so it's about allowing that to come in and also jobs as well. There may be some like sort of umming and ahhing about jobs. I feel like some of you, um, a job change is uh, good for the soul is what I get. Um, I do get like, so with the five of ones, I feel like there's a bit of a headache that comes around this sort of uh, feeling of change. So when there is change, and I come back to this attraction card, it feels like there is this uh, change that is happening around you, an awakening as well. You know, you're really starting to open up maybe spiritually and connecting with yourself, seeing into other realms, I feel like with some of you as well. It's almost like, you know, you're looking beyond the veil is what I was given then. Um, and there's like these mysteries unfolding, like there's a lot of sort of questions within you. Um, and it's about connecting with that and allowing yourself to um, to delve a little deeper into that. So there is this balance that you need. And the number uh, five here is about this change that is happening. And again, with this card and the way that I say this sort of spiritual side may be opening up, um, right in the background there is this light and it's like this light is coming in and you're letting go of the old you and releasing this new you. That's how I'm seeing that for you, um, which is just wonderful. Um, and then again, the Ten of Swords, there is this past hurt, this past pain, that is, and it could be many different things I feel with some of you, or it could be one big thing, but the Ten of Swords is here to say that they are acknowledging that your higher self is acknowledging that part of you, but it is not bringing it forward. It is leaving it in the past. She is walking away. She's leaving the desert. That desert, that is dead stuff. We don't need that. She is following those sort of birds, flying above freedom. She is following that to her future across the horizon and going towards the sun, the new beginnings, that new rebirth. It is about leaving the past, taking the lessons that are learned and moving forwards. So that's what I have for you, my lovelies. Uh, I hope that that makes sense to you. And if it does resonate, please let me know in the comments below. Right then, group number 
three. So you guys have chosen the uh, Rhodonite and this is very much to do with healing of the heart and healing past traumas, which seems to be coming up quite often in all these piles at the minute. So let's see what you have. Communicate with your angels. So this is lovely. This is very much a sort of asking for help, prayers, if you are somebody that is religious, um, you know, th there is this sort of need to ask for help. It's almost like you need to put it out there. There's intention that is needed to be set for you guys. So let's have a look what else we have here. Um, it's definitely about healing at the minute for you. Um, I feel like there is uh, a lot more they want to bring out here. So let's just... Right. Okay, so for you guys here, we have the squirrel spirit. I love squirrels, so I, I'm just thrilled that this has come out. Right, believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. Your past hurt, your past trauma has very much put you in the mindset of you're not good enough, that you can't have things, but you can. This is your higher self wants you to know that you can have these things. We also have sometimes life stings, and I feel like this is very prominent for you guys. You've been hurt in the past in many different ways by many different people. And then we also have the snake, which is this time to heal, which is so prominent for you guys. It is very much about healing the past. The past is very crucial for you guys. I've also got the bobcat spirit, which is life is a mystery. So there are these sort of um, unfolding things. It's almost like I feel like you guys are starting to connect spiritually um, to things, that things are starting to make sense or connecting and you're like, oh, that wouldn't have happened if that hadn't happened. And I feel like that life is a mystery part is to do with you wouldn't be where you are now if it wasn't for your past. And to have that sort of gratitude for that happening, for the lessons that you've learned, because now you know not to repeat them. You know, you've got that wisdom to go forward in what to avoid, what you don't want and really moving forwards to the things that you do want so know that there is a healing that is happening for you your higher self really wants you to delve into this a little bit deeper um, and spirituality um, feels like it would really benefit you and help you this could be um, even like yoga meditation um, mindfulness all those sort of things it just feels like it's all really um, the word prominent keeps coming out for you guys. It's what they keep giving me. Uh, oh, I'm so dumb. So we have miracles. So you know, you need to start believing in this. And again, this is connected to the angel side of things. So you may have been connecting with angels for some of you. Or you may be um, thinking about things or praying on things. And um, it's just coming through that. Uh, know that what you're asking is being heard. There's also this need for... Um, uh, energy movement as well for you guys because the energy feels a bit stagnant around you so you need to kind of move you need to uh, those ideas that you've been thinking about you need to start acting on them you need to start doing something towards them and also this sort of fun joyous sort of feeling needs to come back into your life that's been a little bit dull lately we need to bring that back um, We've also got clarity and this feels like it is very much paired with the angel side, the spiritual side, that there is a clarity that's coming. It's almost like you've been in a bit of a fog lately and you're starting to feel like this enlightenment, you're starting to feel a weight lifting off you. Um, and then we've got the change. So it is this change that is happening, it's a transformation that is occurring and your higher self wants you to know that this is all going to be happening as you heal your past problems, your past emotions, all the things that have been stuck in you when somebody mentions something and you kind of tense up, those are the things that you need to be letting go of and just releasing them because they are not serving you any longer. You need to release that to the universe and just let it go because there's new energy that's wanting to come in but we need to get rid of that stagnant old energy first to let that come in easily and just fill your soul with this sort of golden light, this joyous sort of feeling. Um, and then I have the sensuality, which is about being your true self. Do not be afraid to be you. Uh, this is a running theme at the minute, to be your authentic self. You will not be everybody's cup of tea. That's okay. Just find the people that you do resonate with, that you do have those connections with, and really 
connect with, those are the people you want to be with. I also feel like this, again, could relate back to um, your religion or, or some kind, maybe, um, where you're finding new people and connecting with the community or the, um, of some kind. It could be like an online group where you're connecting um, spiritually. Uh, it's just like there is this sort of friendship, which is what we've got here, um, that is going to be coming up it's like these new friendships very much like-minded people building new sort of connections and it's very much for you guys group three about connecting with yourself and being your truest self no matter how silly or quirky it may seem to some that is who you are and you need to start embracing that I'm even seeing like you know people with like flowers in their hair you know it's just your true quirky self I feel like some of you are very boho type people um, and it's like that free spirit but you hide it you kind of like feel like it's uh, people don't want to see it um, and it doesn't matter what other people think it doesn't matter if you're not everybody's cup of tea it matters what you think about yourself and how you feel within yourself um, we've also got the death card which came up in the last reading as well in pile two so we've got the death card which is rebirth do not be afraid of this card this is like my favorite card it's rebirth it's transformations so this is like letting go of the old you and bringing in this new beautiful soul it just feels so um spiritual it just feels so uplifting so warming and it's what you've been missing i've also got the queen of cups my favorite my favorite um this is who i resonate with the most in the deck the queen of cups this surrendering surrender to the universe let things happen as they need to happen the knowing that all the things in the past have happened for a reason um, and know that the next step for you is there you may not see it but know that it is there i feel like that is very strong with this card for you today to really let you know that the next step is there you can't see it but it is there do not worry do not panic just trust in the universe trust that it will all come to you in the right time because sometimes we're just not ready for things so they will only come when we are ready to accept things and we are ready to move on there is also for some of you a need to rest the four of swords there is this need to um, kind of uh, rest and bring through that healing for the heart you know how I feel like there is this sort of broken heart this trauma from the past this could be um, for some of you maybe recent but this definitely feels more towards the past um, and the eight of cups so it's walking away walking away from those situations that you have found yourself in or may find yourself in again and remember the past lessons that when you go forward you do not want to be repeating the cycles because you won't be moving forward if you do so they're just saying it is a time to rest recuperate get your thoughts together meditate kind of like figure out who you are again bring that through and then that sort of walking away from old situations leaving things where they were take what was needed and move on so that's what i have for you my lovelies and i hope that resonates with you guys uh please let me know in the comments below if it does and i send you lots of love okay my group number four right so for you we have the crystal blue argate and this is about the throat the finding your voice speaking your truth um, and we have reach for the stars um, your higher self wants you to reach for the stars to bring that through for you you deserve the best I do feel like um, this pile is maybe a pile that questions whether they're doing the right thing are they on the right path um, and I want to say that your higher self is here to say yes you are um, but you need to kind of believe it more you know you need to reach for higher goals some of you you, you haven't set your your uh, your goals high enough um then we have here let's see right so we have the there is always enough right okay so you may be feeling like oh so somebody already is doing that you know oh, i've seen loads of youtube people doing this i see people creating courses like that all the time what my ideas aren't good enough they are good enough there is enough for everybody you are unique in your own way so the way that you maybe teach something or approach something where you speak about something may be very different to how other people do it you will find certain people connect with you for you 
your vibration, the way that you make them feel. It's not about uh, doing the same thing, it's about how you do those things. You know, make it your own. We've also got uh, sometimes life stings. So there is things in the past that have kind of made you feel this way. So this is the wasp here and it, it's like you've been stung in the past and it has put you off from kind of going for your goals and setting those higher goals. You may not have achieved your goals before in the past so it's kind of put you off from um, going for them now but that's because it wasn't right for you. Those goals weren't right for you at that time. That's why you didn't achieve those ones. Now is the time to really start setting the goals. You're on the right path to where you're supposed to be. Set healthy boundaries as well. So that maybe, again, people around you, the ones that maybe have stung you in the past as well, um, you need to uh, set boundaries. Set yourself some boundaries in not allowing people to speak to you a certain way, not allowing people into your life that you don't resonate with. Don't work with somebody that makes you feel like crap. There's no need for it. If you are working for yourself, uh, you don't have to work with that person. Uh, if it's in a workplace, it is different, but you can set boundaries of not being around them so much or um, kind of saying to yourself, like, I am not going to take on that energy today. Um, and kind of, you have to put them a bit like at arm's length with some people around you at the minute because their energy it just doesn't suit yours. Um, and it kind of brings you down a bit and it kind of um, makes you feel a bit tired and it's also makes you question yourself and you shouldn't be around people that are making you question yourself um, your self-worth are you doing the right thing can you achieve this it's almost like they're going no you can't and then you're listening to this little voice no listen to your inner voice not anybody else's you are you for a reason and then we've got the reclaim your power so this is very very much you you know you need to reclaim that power that was lost that how dark this card is feels to me like you have suffered depression or you have been through a lot of pain in the past and it has kind of thrown you it's thrown you a bit you have been um not your best self you have not been the most powerful you that you could be so now your higher self is saying right the time now is to set your goals reach for the stars know that there is plenty there for everybody stop questioning yourself and putting yourself down and then you know set those boundaries but also within that you're reclaiming your power so it's almost like those boundaries will come within that power that you're, you start reclaiming um, then let's move on to some of these just to see what else your higher self wants to bring through for you at this time so it's a journey, there is this new journey coming at the minute for you guys, which is resonating with the, the goals that need to be set. You have ideas um, that have been kind of brewing and you've been setting small goals. You've been only achieving a little bit, whereas you could surpass that easily if you put the uh, either the effort in or the mindset in that you could. Um, we also have the emergence card so it's time to come out your shell it's time to come back to you be the true you that you are um opportunities there's some opportunities coming up for you guys at the minute and it's almost like you may have missed some in the past for some of you and uh, I'm, I'm i'm feeling like there's going to be some opportunities that are coming up and you would normally kind of go no straight away but i want to say stop just stop for a minute and think about it just think actually is this something that resonates with me is this something that's going to serve me is this something that I feel passionate about I could do this I feel with some of you there may be some collaboration so you may be teaming up with somebody else or somebody comes into your life that can help you progress further um, I've also got the hope card here so it's like before in the past this hope has been gone I'm seeing for you guys that your hope was lost before there's been a lot of pain uh, I also feel like a lot of loved ones have um, been lost as well so know that they are here they are around you um, and they are always there helping you trying to grow and become that best you you've also got affirmations which I do feel like this would be so perfect for you guys because of the way that I feel like you talk to yourself because other people have put you down that you start talking to yourself in the same way so um, it's about uh, those upliftment for thoughts and believing that you can achieve those higher goals, that you can be the best within your field. Um, 
uh, start setting the intentions that you can do it and then it, when you start setting the positive intentions you manifest things a lot quicker um, and it is about breaking the cycle and old habits. You also need to get out in nature, you have the blossom card here as well um, and that is you opening up, your higher self is saying look, look how beautiful this card is, let's say in verse. Um, and that sort of, um, those colours, those in very rich colours are the way they want your life to be again because it's been a bit bland they're saying. Um, so we want to bring more of that positivity back. It says an enlightenment, uh, no longer attached to past traumas. So this is where your higher self is taking you, you know, you don't want that attachment to the past, we are leaving that behind. All these readings are very similar, you know, in the way that there's a lot of past trauma that is keeping us from moving forwards. Um, but be proud of how far you have come, I do feel like you have made progress from where you were. Um, like I said here, with the, um, the darker card, it felt like you've had depression, you've been really down and you've fought through that. So know that that's where you were and now you're in a new place. You are also at the perfect time for planting new seeds, new ideas, and really kind of stepping out your comfort zones as well. There's also a healing around you. Financially, business-wise, it feels like there is either a new job for some of you. Um, I do feel like some of you are leaning towards self-employment uh, as well, and there's a, there's, oh, I feel like there's a, there's a very, very varied amount of options here for you guys. Um, I feel like there's many opportunities, again, there is opportunities coming up at the minute, so when they come up, think about them, don't just say no. Some that you may think, oh no, that's, think about it, then say no, that's fine. But sometimes I feel like for a few of you, there's opportunities that are coming up that you just kind of want to grab with both hands. So when that happens, really go for it. If your intuition, your gut is saying, yes, that's what I want, but your mind's going, no, you can't do that. Ignore the mind and go for it because of you're not going to know unless you try. You need to get out of your comfort zones. You need to step out of those sort of fears, beyond those fears, and be that fearless person. Um, so yeah, I do feel like there is a new business venture here as well. Um, you got all the pentacles, guys. We've got king, uh, knight of pentacles, ace of pentacles, and now we've got the six of pentacles. So it is about, um, this definitely uh, to me feels like it is uh, business wise and the financial side, it feels like there is a positive step financially, it feels like there is a, a, um, a burden lifted as well financially, there's also a need to make sure you are not giving too much um, and not receiving anything back, you know you need that balance, that flow of energy needs to be um, it needs to be flowing so you know you can't just give 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 but there's no energy coming back you need to make sure that there is this constant flow of giving and receiving from uh, it, it's almost like friendships or families where you're putting in more than what they are so just be aware of that um, then you have a, so the seven of cups the, the seven of cups this feels again this the many opportunities that are kind of in front of you and you're kind of stalling some of you may be at this point already or some of you are going to be getting to this point where you start stalling because you don't know which way to go and you start questioning everything what if I could do this I could do this I could go down this way but you're not moving anywhere so I feel like your higher self here is saying just pick a path and go with it. You can always change your mind later, or you may veer off another way, which leads you back to a path that you may have thought of in the first place. But it will all be for a reason. Don't panic so much. Just that, and then we've got this one, which is just surrender. Just surrender, the Queen of Cups. So these two together is saying, just surrender to it. Stop thinking about it. Start moving forward. Just let the universe guide you and take you. There is no need to be worrying or panicking about anything. It is just allow things to come up to follow what it feels good. Follow what feels good, what feels right. Opportunities will be coming up and when you start getting stuck on which way to go, where is it that you're drawn to the most? Which one excites you the most? You've got to sit there and think which one is it that is going to make me happy because that is the way that you need to be going. Um, and having that trust that the next step is there for you and that it will be for a reason. Every, every single choice you make or step you make towards your future will all be for a reason. So I hope that that resonates with you and if it does please let me know in the comments below. Um, yes, have a great day.